My name is Andrea and today I am here with a Trader Joe's haul. I have not been to Trader Joe's in such a long time. I found a lot of really great things and I wanted to share them with you all. I ended up spending $155 and some change, so I will jump right in. So I'll start back here with the produce. I grabbed some bok choy. I like bok choy. I'm just gonna slice this up and add it to some kale that I already have in my fridge and just stir fry it all together. I grabbed some white mushrooms just to have on hand. I grabbed this tiny little pumpkin for my four-year-old little boy. He loves pumpkins. He just likes to play with them and he, I don't know, he just likes to have one. And these were only 89 cents. And then I grabbed this little um, cinnamon whisk and it was pretty cheap too. I don't remember how much it was, a dollar or so, maybe probably a little bit more than that. But I am just going to put this in my bathroom and my husband really loves apple pies and you get four little teeny tiny apple pies in here and he will enjoy these. And I grabbed some of these caramel sea salt baking chips. They are a seasonal item. And then I saw these bacon and eggs, little sweet gummy bears and they were so cute I couldn't resist. Um, you can probably see there's a little egg right there and then right here is a little piece of bacon, um, but they're actually fruit flavored. So I thought that was cute and I like gummy bears. Go back up here, I got two cans of coconut milk, organic coconut milk. They are super cheap at Trader Joe's, $1.69 a can. I like to have them on hand for when I make rice and peas for Howard, he likes it, he's Jamaican. That's a Jamaican dish. I also use it when I make curry shrimp. So I just like to have them on hand. I grab these cinnamon roll blondie bars. Um, you make them in an eight, I'm sorry, a nine inch pan. So I thought this would be good to just to try out. Um, it has, it says blondie bar swirled with a cinnamon roll inspired filling and topped with glaze. I grabbed some baby broccoli. We just like baby broccoli. I think I mentioned mushrooms. I grabbed some strawberries. And Howard and I really like these organic jumbo cinnamon rolls, much better than Pillsbury. Sometimes I feel like Pillsbury kind of has like an aftertaste. These don't have that and we both really like them a lot. Um, I heard about this everything in the Elote Greek style yogurt dip and I've been wanting to try it. If you're not a big fan of mayo, like me, I'm not a big fan, I really like when things are made with Greek yogurt instead. So you've got the Greek yogurt, corn, elote seasoning, and grated cheese. Let me try to flip it around so you can kind of see a little bit what's in there, but I'm excited to try it out. Also, I have not seen this before and it sounded really good. It's a cream cheese spread. Um, it says it's savory. You get the red bell pepper, garlic, and Parmesan. And I'll probably use this for wraps or crackers. I really like Trader Joe's yogurt. And they used to sell these in like a six count and package, and they don't. They sell them individually now. So I got one blueberries and cream. And then I also got one lemon, uh, Meyer lemon and cream yogurt as well. I grabbed some of these uh, green onion pancakes. I've had them before and I really like them a lot. They are delicious, very similar to the ones that you get in Asian restaurants. And then I also grabbed some of this almond butter granola, which I love. It's a staple for me. It's crunchy, it's delicious. I eat it by itself. And then I also throw it on my yogurt too. I grabbed some of this chicken chow mein. This is a staple for me on those nights when I just don't feel like cooking. I usually add additional vegetables to it and that's usually what I do with the broccolini. Sometimes I add cabbage to it as well, but it is so good and my husband really likes it a lot. Now this I think is a new item because when I was checking out, the cashier hadn't seen it either. Um, panzerotti pizza bites and I was reading the back and these are actually fried but you bake them to reheat it and it's filled with mozzarella cheese and Italian tomato sauce so I don't believe that there is any meat in here and there it is it says 
They're fried rather than bake. It's a Southern Italy staple. So I'm excited to try these. They kind of sound like pizza bites, but elevated. Now this I have not seen either. And if you've been with our channel for a while, you know that Howard and I absolutely love Asian food. And this sounded really good to me. Ginger shrimp lo mein. And it's really not that big of a package, but it should be enough to feed, to feed us. So grabbed one of those. And then the sfiocchetti is another staple of mine. I like to have it in the, in the freezer in case I just don't feel like cooking. This is a really good um, dish to have on hand or a frozen meal to have on hand. The pasta is very tender and it's stuffed with cheese and it has a creamy um, like tomato based sauce and it is very good. Throw a salad in there, some bread in there and you've got a complete meal. I also grabbed another one of my staples, Kung Pao chicken. It does have peanuts in it. The peanuts come in a separate package. Howard and I don't care for the peanuts. We just leave them out and eat them separately. But the rest of the dish itself is really good and really is restaurant worthy. What I do to stretch this out if I don't want to serve it over rice is I make um, like um, lo mein noodles with it or you can use thin spaghetti noodles, something like that and add it in, add some additional vegetables. I do have a YouTube short where I posted how I doctor up this Kung Pao chicken and I'll try to remember to link it in the description box so you guys can check out that recipe. Another freezer staple of mine is this um, family style meat lasagna. It is so good, way better than Stouffer's lasagna. I mean, this Trader Joe's lasagna has it beat by a mile. Everyone that I have told about this lasagna is converted from Stouffer's to Trader Joe's. It is really good. It's not huge. I mean, if you're feeding a family of four, You'll have, you know, the four of you will have like a, a decent sized portion. You won't be able to go back for seconds. But for Howard and I, it's perfect. You know, we can have a generous sized portion of the lasagna and have a little bit for leftovers. Another staple of mine is this chicken fried rice. It is so good. I think it has microwave instructions and stovetop. I always make mine on the stovetop. I cook it for longer than it says in order to give it kind of that restaurant style fried rice taste and it is very, very good. It comes with chicken. The chicken is dark meat. If you don't like dark meat, you may not like this, but we like dark meat. And it does come with peas and carrots, which if you've been with our channel for a while, you know I cannot stand peas. So I do take the time to take all of the peas out before I cook it. Another staple of ours is this mac and cheese. We love it. Some people don't care for it. We, like I said, love it. Either you love it or you don't, but one box is um, two servings and it's enough for like a quick meal. If I'm making something simple, like chicken nuggets or something like that, it's enough for us. Um, this is new, their hoisin sauce. And like I said, we love Asian food. And so um, I don't know if this is gonna be something they always have, but I just decided to grab it. But this is their hoisin sauce. And I think this pizza sauce is also new. I've never seen it there, so I grabbed one. I think both of these were $1.99, but just kind of want you to see what's in there a little bit. Um, over here, I have these tarts, which we absolutely love. It has ham and onions. Now, if you're eating this for a meal, I mean, it's pretty small. Like the two of us, you know, we eat it. My son's not into it, but normally, if I'm making it for a meal, you've got to add a salad or something to it. Cause it is, it is pretty small, but we love these and they are so tasty. I also grabbed, let me go over here, some Thai sweet ginger sauce. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it just sounded good. So I grabbed it. Let me move this out of the way, I'll come back. Um, their pie crusts are back. I think they're a seasonal item and they are so good. Now my go-to typically is Pillsbury, which I still love Pillsbury, but if you want your pie crust to taste homemade and for people to think you actually made it, Trader Joe's is the way to go. Let me flip it over because this is made with butter, unsalted butter right there and the Pillsbury crust are not. So this really tastes homemade with that butter in the crust. Um, let me see here. 
I wanted to try these things. It's a very small package, a little over four ounces. These are apple shortbread cookies. Um, I sh think they are crunchy. Here's what's in there. And it has uh, dried apples and they just sound, sounds really good. Sounds delish. Um, what else? This I've not seen before. Crunchy chili onion sprinkle and it has crispy fried onions and Szechuan peppers. And there are the ingredients, sea salt, crispy fried onions, um, chili flakes, brown sugar. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. Let me try to open it with one hand here. If you have any ideas or if you use this, please let me know. But after you take off the lid, there's a little shaker top right there. Whoops. Okay, so for some non-food items, I love this head to toe balm. I keep it in my purse. You know, if you forget to put on lotion, you know, you can use it for um, your body, you can use it on your face, you can also use it on your lips, your heels, whatever. I really like it. And then um, I also grabbed this uh, leave-in conditioner. It's new. Um, and I heard it's kind of like a um, dupe of this really expensive brand. I will try to leave it in a uh, um, I will try to, to leave the brand um, up for you guys when I figure out what it is so you guys can see what I'm talking about because I cannot remember. I also grabbed some of this tea tree body wash. Let me try to focus it. This has been around for a long time. Now, if you're like me, um, sometimes your deodorant doesn't work as well, like it stops working and maybe you'll switch deodorants. So. What I've learned is that if you use um, tea tree, like soap, like bar soap or body wash, use that underneath your arms, like it kills the bacteria and it helps your deodorant work better. It just starts working again after you get all of that bacteria out of there. And then I grab some of these fish sticks. We're not big fish people, but um, I do like these. These are lightly breaded. Howard and I can both, you know, eat them and be okay with it. I got some of these plantain style, um, plant, I'm sorry, jerk style plantain chips for my husband. He really likes these a lot. And then Kendra at Kendra Full of Joy. Um, she is a friend on YouTube and I watch her channel. She grabbed these on a recent haul. And so I decided to grab these too. Um, they are really cute little leaf shaped tortilla chips. They don't have a flavor to them. That's just the color that they are. Um, but cute little leaves and I'm gonna try to see if my son will try these because he really loves leaves But he is a very picky eater. So I'm hoping that these tortilla chips will entice him And then I also got some I haven't seen these before um, Pork rinds. These are chili and lime flavored pork rinds and they are as light as air So they're not like a heavy type crackling type pork skin, but these seem really good and then I think the last thing that I picked up are these unsalted corn tortilla chips. I just like to have them on hand. I always eat chips and salsa or chips and queso or something like that. So I just like having them on hand. So this is absolutely everything. I don't think I skipped over anything. This is everything that I picked up on my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.